Always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. A pretty mild start to our Sunday out there. Temperatures are much warmer than we were at this time yesterday. And overall, a calm start. We did talk about the potential for a stray flurry or an isolated shower. And you can see that on Storm Track Live indicating our radar here. Most of those showers, though, are moving far up to our north, so the bulk of the area is dry. You can see that across our area sky cams. It is a little bit breezy. Every now and then you'll see one of those sky cams shaking around. We'll add in satellite and give you a bit of a wider view here. It is cloudy this morning. So likely not going to be as pretty of a sunrise as we had yesterday. And we also see this cold front taking shape pretty far off to our northwest. That will eventually impact us, but take just a little bit of time to get here. The biggest thing you'll notice if you step out the door this morning are those winds once again. Now coming almost directly from the south at about 5 to up to 17 miles per hour. 17 mile per hour winds in Muskegon, 11 in Grand Rapids. A little bit breezier towards the lake, but also a little bit warmer. Our lake water temperatures this morning sitting in the upper 30s. So as those winds push over the lake and kind of hit our land. That's why it's slightly warmer. 40 in Muskegon and 37 in Grand Rapids, a cool 34 in Greenville. Over the next 24 hours, it'll be a nice day out there. Temperatures topping off in the mid 40s with even a few breaks of sunshine and even our overnight lows, not too bad, only falling to the upper 20s and low 30s. And that's well above normal for today. 35 should be our average high again, 10 degrees above normal in Grand Rapids at a similar 10 degree above normal for our low temperature. Not quite record breaking though, not there today. Into the week ahead though, we'll hold on to near or above normal temperatures for the next couple of days, both Monday, Tuesday, and even Wednesday, Wednesday's a degree below normal, will be on the warmer side or seasonal for this time of the year. You do notice though on Friday, things start to change. Cooler air is expected to move in. And that's actually because of several systems that we're tracking in that eight day forecast. We'll start with the next couple of hours here. Again, a stray shower or flurry remains possible, but no accumulation is expected. We'll have a break of sunshine or two this afternoon, but as that cold front sweeps through, or I should say cold front number one, we'll see that cloud cover really take over. A warm front moves through the area early on Monday, and that'll give us our next chance for a stray shower or some light snow, especially north of I-96. That cold front sweeps through and helps us dry out somewhat quickly, left behind with that cloud cover. But our overall pattern into the next couple of weeks, or six to ten days, through March 1st, is that we'll be seeing above normal precipitation. This light green gradient that you see really north of I-94 indicates about a 33 to 40 percent chance of seeing that rain or snow really pick up. And you'll notice several chances over the next next eight days or so, but the days that you're going to want to watch are Wednesday and Thursday. We do know that we'll have an impactful system move in. Several types of precipitation are possible, including rain, sleet, freezing rain and snow. Travel likely difficult and closings may be possible as well. So here's kind of what we're thinking so far. Likely going to see snow up to the north with that freezing line somewhere over West Michigan. And that's the division that we typically see when we change over from snow back to freezing rain or sleet and even just rain down to the south. So something to keep an eye on. 45 though is your high today. Plenty of sunshine. A chance for some snow both Monday and Tuesday, but again, not expecting a ton of accumulation there. Wednesday and Thursday are the days you'll want to watch. And by the end of the week, uh, I put pleasant because I think we need a silver lining here. Um, it'll be less snow and we'll start to dry out a little bit into the weekend. You know, I had to put something there, right? What yeah, am I going to do? Got to have a silver lining. <laughs> I will say I enjoyed the weather yesterday. I went out uh, and took my dog for a walk and well, I got a, about a half a block down the road, thought I could get away yeah. with tennis shoes and had to turn around and get my winter boots because yes. it was just so slushy. It out was there, so slushy but. out there, but nice that some of yeah. the ice is melting. Yeah, so. definitely so. Mm -hmm.